Mechanical keyboards are the bomb, and the Red Dragon Garen Pro K656 is one of the latest and greatest. It's got a retro 80s vibe, RGB lighting, and premium mechanical switches. Seriously, if I could build my own keyboard, this is what it would be. In this video, I'm going to show you everything you want to know about the Red Dragon Garen Pro, also known as the Red Dragon K656. We'll be discussing the key features of the keyboard such as its new purple switches customized by Red Dragon, keycaps and build quality. Then we'll put the keyboard through its paces to see how it performs in a variety of tasks such as gaming, typing and general use. Finally, I'll give my overall verdict on the keyboard and we'll try to answer the question, is this a good keyboard for the price? But before we dive in, let's check out what's in the box. Here we have the keyboard itself along with the following accessories. A 1.2 meter long USB-C cable for wired connections and charging. A switch and a keycap metal puller. And here's a set of spare purple switches. These are the switches that Red Dragon designed and produced themselves. They have a 55 gram actuation force and 1.1 mm pre-travel distance. And a quick start guide. Oh, and there's also a little gaming leaflet, that's sweet. The keyboard is sleek and compact, and it still has all the keys you need, including the numpad. Red Dragon states it's a 90% keyboard, but it's technically a 95%, as it only removes 4 keys, which is not enough to be considered a 90% keyboard. However, it still has the essentials. The keys are standard profile, so they are comfortable to type on and the switches are Red Dragon's own development and production. I have done some research and it looks like Red Dragon did indeed design the switches, but they actually made by Utemu. This is not uncommon in the mechanical keyboard industry. Many manufacturers design their own switches, but then have them produced by other companies that specialize in switch manufacturing. The keyboard also has a transcluent blue case, which is pretty sweet. It gives the keyboard a retro vibe, and it also helps to show off the customizable RGB lighting, which we'll get into in a bit. There's a plastic switch on the side that turns the keyboard on and lets you switch between 2.4 GHz radio control connection and Bluetooth. I found it a bit of pain to use, but I usually leave it in Bluetooth mode and don't turn it off, since it goes into sleep mode after a few minutes to save the battery. The keyboard weighs 1.39 kg, which is pretty heavy. This is thanks to its big 3000 mAh battery and a metal PCB. But the weight also gives the keyboard nice and solid feel. This hot swappable keyboard lets you swap out the keycaps and switches to find a perfect feel and sound. The included switch and keycap puller is a standard tool with steel wires. It's easy to use, just insert the wires under the keycaps and pull up. The keycaps should come right out. I'm a big fan of the stock purple switches. They are tactile and they provide a satisfying thock sound. But if you're not sure which switch you like, the keyboard is compatible with a bunch of 3 to 5 pin mechanical switches, so you can try out a few different switches to see which one you like best. If you're not familiar with the different switch types, here's a quick rundown. The tactile switches have a bump in the middle of the travel that provides tactile feedback. This bump can be helpful for typists who want to know when a key has been pressed. Popular colors include brown, clear and purple. Linear switches are smooth and uninterrupted. They're a good choice for gamers who want a fast and responsive keyboard, and the popular colors include red, black and silver. Clicky switches make a clicky sound when they pressed. They're a good choice for gamers and typists who want a keyboard that is very audible. Popular colors include blue, green and white. So as I said, the best switch for you will depend on your personal preferences. If you're not sure which switch to choose, I recommend trying out a few different switches to see which one you like best. The function key, also known as the FN key, is a hidden gem on the keyboard. It's a modifier key that unlocks a bunch of extra features, like changing the brightness, volume or backlight. 
all the special functions are printed on the keycap so you can easily identify them. For example, holding down the FN key and pressing 1, 2 or 3 switches between the three Bluetooth device connections. FN and 4 records the 2.4 GHz connection. FN with any of the F keys gives you access to multimedia options such as play, pause, rewind or emails. FN pressed with the insert key changes the RGB lighting pattern. So there you have it, the FN key is a pretty handy little thing. Experiment with it and see what else you can do. So the keyboard has a sick RGB backlight that you can change to different modes. To do this, just hold down the FN key and press the insert key. The keyboard will cycle through the different modes so you can find the one that you like the best. If you want to change the speed of brightness of the backlight, just press the FN key and press the arrow keys. To the left is brightness and to the right is speed. If you want to change from dynamic RGB to static single color, hold down the FN key and press the enter. You can also customize the backlight to your liking using the keyboard software, however the software is only compatible with Windows. Right, let's check the connectivity. The keyboard has three different connection modes, USB-C wired, Bluetooth 3.0 and 5.0 and 2.4 GHz radio control dongle. This gives you a lot of flexibility for different usage scenarios. In the wired mode the keyboard worked as expected, with no missed keystrokes or latency. If you're into gaming, the 2.4 GHz connection might be your second best option after the wired one. It's slightly faster than the Bluetooth connection. We tested that with my son within a range of 4 to 5 feet of the dongle and it was still accurate. To connect via Bluetooth, flip the switch on the side of the keyboard. You can connect up to three devices with the keyboard at the same time and switch between them by pressing FN with either 1, 2 or 3. I'll connect the keyboard to my Android phone. But before we carry on, make sure you're subscribed. First, I'll have to put the keyboard into pairing slot 1 by pressing the FN key and 1. Then I'll go to the Bluetooth settings on my phone and select BT 3.0 or BT 5.0. Let's tap it and the keyboard connects to my phone. The keyboard was recognized straight away and I was able to type without any problems. And now, just for fun, let's try the racing game. As you can see, the keyboard automatically connects to my phone and even shows me the key combinations I need to use. The keyboard also works seamlessly with iPads and iPhones. To connect it to an iPad or iPhone, simply put the keyboard into pairing mode and again select BT 3.0 or BT 5.0 from the Bluetooth settings on your device. I tested the keyboard with my wife's iPad Air and it worked perfectly. The keyboard was recognized straight away and I was able to type without any problems. It also works great with the Android tablets. The keyboard is being recognized straight away. My son is helping me with this again. Alright, let's connect it to my iMac now. If for some reason the pairing doesn't work or if you previously assigned some other devices to the keyboard, you can reset the Bluetooth connections by pressing and holding the FN key and all three of the keys 1, 2 and 3 for around 5 seconds. Here we go. It paired instantly again and the connection is rock solid. I'm really happy with it, I haven't noticed any missed keystrokes, everything just works like a dream. It is fine for the gaming but I'm very tempted to do some typing tests. The typing experience on the Garin Pro is top notch. The keys have a satisfying fog that lets you know that the key has been registered. And this is crucial for touch typists as it helps you to know when you press the right key. I'm a horrific typist, but I can tell that the keyboard provides a silky smooth and responsive typing experience. This is in contrast to a regular laptop keyboard that often have a mushier feel and lack the satisfying tactile feedback of the mechanical keyboards.
I did find that I wasn't mispressing keys or pressing two at the same time when I first started typing on it. I'm used to a low profile Apple Magic Keyboard, but I got used to the higher profile and I was able to type without any major random slips. Overall, I'm really happy with the typing experience on this keyboard. It is a considerable gadget for anyone who wants a smooth, responsive and satisfying typing experience. Just need to type faster. The keyboard comes with an optional software that lets you do a bunch of cool stuff like create custom macros, reassign keys and create user profiles. Each profile can have its own set of macros, key assignments and backlight settings. This is useful if you share your computer with other people or if you want to have different settings for different tasks. You can also customize the RGB backlight effects. The software can be downloaded from the Red Dragon website. If you don't use macros or don't want customized backlighting, you can still use the keyboard without the software. The keyboard works entirely without the software so you can choose whether or not to use it, based on your needs. The keyboard has a long battery life, even with the RGB backlights turned on. It has a massive 3000 mAh battery which can last up to 38 hours in 2.4 GHz wireless mode with the RGB backlights turned off, and around 20 hours with the RGB backlights turned on. In Bluetooth mode, the keyboard can last up to 20 hours on a single charge, and it takes around 4 hours to fully charge it. Checking the battery level of the keyboard is easy, because it has battery indication. The K656 has a ton of great reviews on Amazon, that speaks for itself, so I'm guessing that spending $74 US or 74 British pounds is a steal, especially when compared to the competition. There's a discount code that gives you an extra price drop when you buy from the official Red Dragon website. Just be sure to type in Family Pop TV at checkout to apply the discount. If you'd like to check out the keyboard on Amazon and on the official Red Dragon website, there are affiliate links in the video description. You can also scan the QR code that pops up at the screen right now. Please note, we received this keyboard for free to test, but all the opinions and tests are our own. If you got any questions, feel free to leave a comment below. Thanks for watching.